Tim Leonard back with you on the PNC Digital Desk. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier. The Orioles get a victory. Let's hear from manager Brandon Hyde. I mean, that was uh, us having the lead early, them, them coming back. They got a ball off the bag, which gave them two runs. Um, you know, unfortunately, they're for Ake. And then, um, you know, we've been, we've been great out of the bullpen this year. And you're going to have some nights when you're not your best. And tonight we weren't our best out of the pen, but we picked it up offensively and, and uh, slugged. So there was a, and we scored 10 runs tonight. I don't know how many times we've done that. Um, but happy with our, our offense and battling back after some tough defensive innings. Yesterday, you, know, you talked about Odor's butt being a big hit. And then he goes up there against his old team and, 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 hits, and hits the home run. How big yeah. was that? Yeah, and, and, you know, misplayed a ball a little bit in the top half of that inning to and I know he was disappointed in, in how that went and then for him to regroup and get a homer there uh, yeah he's Rugi is he's a warrior and he he's inspirational and he's got energy and he loves to play and and uh, he's a tough dude so big hit for us again Brandon, can you talk about him as an inspirational player? Because he's a guy that, if you looked at the numbers the last three years, you go, why do you want him? But you did some research on him. and Well, he's um, he comes to play. Um, he is all about winning. And to have our young guys being around him and Robbie that are 100% about winning um, in, a, in a mode where we've been the last few years, yeah. That's and the the positive talk from the dugout from both those guys, the encouraging. Um, even after Robbie missed the bunt, he's the top step encouraging Mount Castle, encouraging said. Um, so you hear those two guys in the dugout all game long, and we haven't had that. Um, we haven't had veteran type guys that are um, that have been around winning teams, honestly, and and know what's what it feels like, and some things aren't acceptable <laughs> and um you know they're they're just gamers and and it's uh it's a pleasure to have both of them you said a, a couple days ago you felt like Cedric was going to have a big half yep. did you feel like he was building to a game like today yeah i i've i think for the last two or three weeks that has looked like for me the, the the confidence is back it's on time with the fastball was said for me and uh you know to go left on left heater and, and slice it into left center in a big spot. Um, you know, he goes deep last night. He had three hits tonight, two doubles, um, two walks. We've talk, I've talked to him a lot about that. We're taking his walks, table setting. Um, what he did last year was just a really, really tough at bat. They make a mistake. He's got the obvious power. He's a, he's a 30 home run guy. He's got power to go deep. But also, um, you know, just taking good at bats and being on time with a fastball. And that's something that we've talked a lot about um, as of as of late, and it's carrying over. Ryan, with, uh, Ryan McKenna getting his first home run. How did how did that feel for you? And yeah. just how dependable has he been for you guys this season off the bench? Well, I think Mac's one of those young guys right now. I'm I'm really proud of Mac. He he, um, he one he wasn't in the lineup uh, until about two hours before the game, um, and he comes to play every day when he's not in the lineup. He has he has followed suit with some of our veteran guys, where he is unbelievably into the game. He is incredibly supportive. He's ready to pinch hit. He's ready to pinch run. He's ready to play defense every single night. He's preparing like a pro. He's becoming a pro, and uh, you know that's been fun to to watch a young player um, turn into a big leaguer um, and how he's going about his business, and then pays off tonight with um, the home run, but also the hit. Earlier in the game, um, the defense he's played all year, the speed factor steals a base. So uh, it's fun to watch him, like I said, turn into a major league player. Brandon, you mentioned the energy that, that certain guys bring. Just mm -hmm. kind of collectively, how did you feel like your team handled tonight versus maybe how you would have seen them handle a similar situation in past years? Yeah, well, we haven't had many, you know, 
gut punches from the bullpen, honestly, like we've had here the last four, three or four days. And um, our bullpen has been, you know, lights out and, and stranding inherited runners and getting big outs and big spots against, you know, AL East type teams. And, and um, you know, tonight we it just didn't happen. We just, you know, we've had a, we had a little bit of tough time in Minnesota the ninth. Now we, we, um, you know, we, we, Gave the lead up last night also. And for our guys to, you know, we're winning the game. We feel good about our bullpen and it not to happen, but to be able to bang with them um, to take the lead, it was, uh, it's just a lot about our character. I know we talked about this yesterday, but with another extra in game, are you going to need to replenish all that? There's a chance. We're going to talk about it right after I leave you. Thanks for stopping by the PNC Digital Desk, PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.